what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we just finished up our uh monday night raw live stream reactions yes i have my robe on uh me and dub we both had our robes on you know robes for monday night raw man that that was the theme for tonight we was chilling and relaxing we appreciate everyone that um showed up to the live stream on twitch and on youtube we appreciate y'all y'all always make those live streams that much better but we gotta talk about what triple h is doing for this year's royal rumble and i don't know if you guys have noticed but they are essentially making this year's royal rumble one of the most unpredictable royal rumbles we've had in a very long time you really don't know who could possibly win this year's royal rumble and i like the fact that they're building up to the actual match itself creating little mini feuds with different wrestlers in the match well before the match even happens and tonight they started off the show very well they were cooking they got drew mcintyre out there to start off the show and drew i love what they've been doing with his character because once again he's acting more he has done some heel like stuff but he's more so a tweener when it comes to the crowd because the crowd will boo him if he's going against someone else that they like as well and he does something that you know he'll like but at the same time they will still cheer him and that's what you saw tonight he basically talked about what happened with uh seth rollins and losing the match last week and he you know was kind of reflecting and and pretty much saying that he needs to change it up he has to find a way to to get back to the you know the mountaintop and then he started to pretty much place the blame on um uh, damian priest he said you know what i would have won that match if it wasn't for damian priest interfering and trying to cash in mid-match all he had to do was wait for me to win the match then he could have cashed in on me as when I would have been tired. I would have been exhausted. He could have cashed in on me then. But no, he decides to do it mid-match, you stupid idiot. He called him a, an idiot straight to the camera. And I like that because, obviously, Damian Priest is going to feel some type of way about it. So they're teasing something there. They're teasing some type of animosity. They have been for a few months now, so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with that. But then drew starts going on his rant and he's been doing it for weeks he's been name dropping people you know the whole cody bringing jay over to monday night raw the Sami Zayn situation um also the seth rollins situation and he always finds a way to bring up cm punk's name and that's exactly what he did here he was talking about between all these guys that he has issues with and cm punk being back that's when CM Punk music hit and was like, all right, business has picked up because Drew has made it very clear. He does not like him, does not want him back. And obviously CM Punk has some, you know, he, he he's heard his name a few times, so he's going to address it. Comes out there and he's like, you know what? I've heard my name and, you know, I want to see, you know, what needs to be said, what you got to say. So I'm going to let you talk. And it's funny, he gets on the top rope, and he lays down on the top rope with his feet up. And I'm going to let you talk. The floor is yours. What do you got to say to CM Punk? So this is when Drew starts cooking. And I love what they've done with this character. He seems very confident on the mic. And the stuff that he's been saying as of late, you can understand. It's, it's viable. It makes sense. You actually care about what Drew's talking about here, for sure. So Drew is you know he he starts off with a little jab he's like damn it's been about a month now and i'm very surprised that you're even still here me and a couple of guys in the back have a bet going on on when when will you implode so i'm, I'm very surprised you're even still here he starts pretty much talking about cm punk and 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 how um back when cm punk was a champion uh back in the day he was supposed to be the the locker room leader like he he proclaimed himself as this locker room leader but he wasn't really a leader to drew mcintyre at that time when he needed him the most you know so for you to sit up here and have this idea like you was a locker room leader but you weren't a locker room leader when i needed you 
So he also brought up points about how CM Punk was, you know, straight edge and and he had no demons that he was dealing with. And he, he essentially said, you know, you're straight edge. You had no demons, but you are a demon, you know, basically saying he's he's really the problem of a lot of things that happened in the back. And CM Punk's response, I love it. So cold, so smooth. He, he's so chill and nonchalant about it. And he said a pretty cold line. He said, I'm not a demon, but when pushed, I'm Satan himself. And I thought that was a really, really cold line. And his point is, I'm, I'm really a nice guy, but don't push me to that point where I don't have to be a nice guy. And he even said, you know, at one point, you know, you saw me walk out. You, you know, the world saw me walk out. And at one point you had to leave. And then the world saw you get, you know, get stronger, you know, get better, you know, and come back, make a bigger name for yourself and main event WrestleMania. I saw that. So if, it, if anything, I'm following in your footsteps of trying to do the same thing when you came back. And I just love this interaction, this this tension between each other, these guys, and both of them stating that they're going to be in the Royal Rumble, and both of them are going to do whatever they can to, you know, be at the main event of WrestleMania. That's what it's all about. I love that. I even love the fact that CM Punk started, he started mentioning names. Like, all this is really about is me being in the Royal Rumble. That's what it is. That's what you're upset about, you know, but... I, I hate to break it to you. You're not going to stop me. Seth Rollins not going to stop me. Even Cody himself, and that's when you heard the oohs and ahs, even Cody himself is not going to stop me. You know, nobody's going to stop me from reaching May, uh, WrestleMania and main eventing it. And this was an, another cold line before CM Punk walked off. He said, from leader to leader, I just want you to know, I'm going to make sure in the Royal Rumble, you're the last person I throw over the top rope and walked away. <laughs> loved it. Loved it. Loved it. This was a great interaction. This was very fantastic. I, I, I love what they're doing. I love what Triple H is doing between these, these guys, um, creating another potential storyline with CM Punk and Drew McIntyre in the Royal Rumble. I'm loving that they are focusing on the match itself being so unpredictable and not knowing who's going to win. They're putting a focus and attention on the match. So now people are so excited about this match. People are going to be looking forward to it and speculating on who's going to win. And that's how you book a Royal Rumble match. It's good to have all these superstars in there, but having some mini stories happen within the match, it's always good because then... You can create something outside of the match. You can create something, uh, a storyline that spawned from the Royal Rumble match and carry it on even until WrestleMania. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this segment. I thought it was the best segment of the show in my personal opinion. I love what they're doing with Drew McIntyre. And I love CM Punk is out there still giving us great promo segments. Looking forward to seeing how things are going to play out in this year's Royal Rumble. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still young on the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champ of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.